Anybody that's linked to the old regime has got to go. And it's going it's to move on and on along that road. And I mean, there's a lot more I'd like to say, but because of the time I can't go into it, the Arab Revolution is an inspiration to the workers of Europe. Even here in America, this raises the question that revolution is on the agenda. As I said, Wisconsin is an example. North Carolina teaches. There's, there's movements in this country, not at the level of Egypt yet, but um, the link is there. And Europe, look at Spain. The Spanish youth are clearly looking at the Arab world. The Arab world has become the vanguard after, after um, having been seen as the, you know, I remember not so long ago arguing with people who said, oh, the Arab world is just one mass of reaction, it's black reaction, it's fundamentalism, there's no there's nothing there. We were highlighting, I remember at the time, oh no, look at the textile workers in Egypt, look at the strikes in Lebanon, and, and other, we always highlighting the positive, um, which indicated where things were going to go, and now the facts have confirmed um, that we were right. But it's opened up a new period. What's happened in the Arab world is going to affect Europe very soon, as Spain shows. Recent reports I saw that even Italy, the youth, are moving along similar lines. Um, the whole of the advanced capitalist world is also being affected because it's part of the same crisis. And we should take inspiration from what's happening in the Arab world and use it to show people that the revolution is not some kind of, you know, dream of communists or socialists or Marxists. Who, uh, it's real. It's taking place in the Arab world, and it's infecting Europe, and it will also come here, as Wisconsin showed. Uh, you know, I'm sure you've all seen this, the scenes in Wisconsin. You know, cop, the cops for Labour who go into the <laughs> capital and speak to the masses and say, "We're with you." That's the same behaviour as the police in Tunisia and Egypt, except that they're American policemen, um, and it's American workers. So it should give us confidence in the future, but it also means something, and I'll finish on this, we have to build a force in the left, which is not just a small group of people who meet and have interesting meetings like this, which are very useful. We've got to go out there to the workers, to the youth, and explain to them that revolution is possible. We have to prepare for it, but also learn the lessons that revolutions can take place, but they don't necessarily succeed. For success, it needs leadership. And that's what we're about in these discussions. Thank you.